what do you think your job shadow is going to be like? Well, I think it's going to be very interesting because I started my career in test. Um, however, um, it, that was associated with generators. This is this is UPS. Um, but my background is electrical engineering, so I, I, I think I'm uh, going to find it very interesting. Right. What was it actually like? What was it actually like? It was. Uh, it was just what I expected, really. Um, it was quite interesting because um, you, you had a, a colleague apprentice working with you as well, so I could then move around and whilst you know you're working in different panels, um, it, it was quite good. And we, you know, initially we, we got an over, overview of the, the UPS, you know, operating, which was quite interesting and something new for me. So yeah, the whole experience was quite rewarding. What do you normally do as your day job? Well, I normally sit here and uh, answer the correspondence and uh, review uh, opportunities, sales opportunities on the generator side, uh, review you know, uh, technical, um, technical responses, things that um, answer a lot of queries for what the, um, from, say, the engineering department. Um, occasion, also, I try to get up to factory two quite a bit, and then I have to, have to go over if there's a particular issue that needs needs resolving because that's my background. That's you know I have a lot of experience on that side of it, and then just general um, being a director, you know, um, partner in running the business. There's there's, there's a lot of general um, work in, in 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 actually running the business as well. So um, right. So this was. You know, totally different going back to, to, to hands on work, it was uh, refreshing. What did you have to do for your job shadow? What did you have to do? Well, just I say, initially um, we looked at some UPS that would, had been tested, which was uh, just the operational functionality, I think. Um, and then there's some modifications to do uh, move some CTs, re cable CTs, etc. Um, in, in Two of the uh, UPS systems and modifications that come up during during test. So um, I found that interesting and work, you know, talking to you guys and working and and and, um, uh, and sharing that experience. Right. Would you do this kind of work again? I think the opportunity for me to do this sort again and uh, this work again will be limited. But because you know I, I started as an apprentice in a test department um, a long time ago, but I found it uh, I found it very interesting. You know, I, I enjoyed the experience. Right. What have you learned today? Well, one of the main things I've I've learned is um, you know how um, tools have changed. Now there's a lot of power tools. Um, you utilize power tools. You know, there's power crimping tools, cable shears. It was all done by hand before. You know, when I when I was uh, on the tools, there's uh, you know with maybe tap holes now we fit you know insert with insert gun etc etc. So you know I don't want to stand grumpy and saying that things are much easier now, but uh, the uh, yeah the, the, it, there's obviously there's um, techniques change etc. and they've certainly changed for the better. So um, it was. Um, it was very interesting to, to see that, and I think w the other thing that, that that I really appreciate is that yeah you know, I've, I've been a, um, a big supporter of uh, the apprenticeship scheme, and I, I think the the experience, the practical experience that you guys have got, and yourself in particular, uh, who you go and do a, a degree foundation uh, a foundation degree, I think get, get that coupled with the practical experience you're getting now, I'm I'm sure will will really um, be useful in your in your career going forward. You see, you can see both sides of the business, and I think it will give you a more uh, rounded um, career opportunity going forward. I think yeah. that's uh, very useful. Right, that's all.